Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Stefano from Another Design Studio. I'm here joined by three friends, uh, colleagues uh, in, the, in the denim industry. And we're going to talk about one of the most interesting and uh, fascinating fibers that we're dealing with today, which is, uh, which is becoming uh, very, very relevant and interesting again. So first of all, I would ask my friends here to introduce themselves quickly, and then we can move on with our questions. Thank you, Stefano. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is there, and I'm a R&D director at Siddiq Sense Pakistan. And I'm very excited to be at this panel discussion of HAMP. And we would like to answer a lot of myths around uh, on HAMP. And I hope we, at, by the end of this discussion, we'll clear a lot of confusions around HAMP. Thank you. Thank you. Zishan? Thank you, Stefano. Good morning. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Hola. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is Zishan from Naminga Denim and Yale. Uh, today we are gathered here to discuss about the hemp denim. So we will share a few details of our hemp experience with the denim community. Thank you much. Johan. Morning, Stefano. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Johan von Hede. I work for Raymond Hugo. <laughs> I have been working for the group since 24 years in product development, marketing, and sales. And um, I'm happy to share my ideas. And I would like also to focus on the aesthetics on, uh, of the fiber, um, other than the pure uh, uh, sustainability part, which is of course super crucial. But I think it's also good to highlight the aesthetics. Absolutely. Thank you so much. There's a lot of talk nowadays about hemp. It was very, very quiet for many years. And now all of a sudden, everybody, everybody is talking about this fiber, this new fiber. It's not new at all, obviously. As we know, it's uh, probably the, the oldest fiber used by mankind. Uh, we know cotton is very old. Cotton uh, was cultivated first by humans uh, starting uh, 2,500 years before Christ in the Indus Valley. And it's been around uh, ever since. Hemp is actually older. There's uh, evidence that hemp was uh, cultivated by, by man uh, since uh, 5000 BC or maybe even, uh, even earlier than that. It's been with us uh, everywhere. It's been used for many, many uses, not only in textiles, but to make paper. You know, the, the famous papyrus or papyrus that the Egyptians were using uh, was, was hemp. Uh, it grows or it used to grow pretty much in every continent. It grows by itself and uh, it became uh, one of the most important fibers for, for men for uh, a very long time. Huge uh, cultivations in Europe, especially I think in Italy, France and, uh, and Belgium, North America, South America, all parts of Asia. And it's been very important for our, for our life. Textile, paper, uh, med medicinal purposes. So really important. In, um, in, the, in the US, it used to be really big until the 1930s. And what happened then is that cotton became more important because it was uh, cheaper to produce because hemp is uh, very labor intensive, at least in the, in the early stage of production. And cotton became uh, cheaper to produce when uh, the Gini machine was invented. At the same time, DuPont was uh, starting to introduce synthetic fibers. And uh, they realized that hemp was a strong competitor for synthetic fibers. And so they lobbied with the government to make it basically classified as a narcotic and therefore to, to try to ban it. It was banned in the 1930s in the US. It came back slowly during World War II because they needed all the fiber they could get. And uh, so it, has a, it had a short resurgence in, uh, in the 1940s and then uh, it was banned again and it virtually disappeared until a few years ago when it was legalized again. I also found uh, some historian who claims that the very first uh, jeans or pants that Levi's made were produced with, uh, with hemp and not with cotton. Now, I, I'm not sure about this completely. I saw some of the original canvas pants that were made by Levi's and they look like cotton, but it is very possible that some of the early canvas that it was using was made with, uh, with hemp. Which brings us to the first question, 
I think, and uh, I'd like to answer that one myself, if you allow me. Is hemp uh, marijuana? I, is it cannabis? Is it something that will, uh, that, that is, a, is a narcotic? So the answer is yes and no. Hemp is in fact cannabis. It is exactly the same plant. Physiologically, it's the same. It's exactly the same as marijuana. But there is one big crucial difference. Hemp only has 0.3% uh, maximum of THC, which is the substance, substance that we enjoy smoking. And uh, just to give you a comparison, if you, if you enjoy smoking one spliff with marijuana, in order to get the same enjoyment, you would have to smoke 1,000 spliffs made of hemp because that is the difference. You go from 0.3% to almost 30% content of THC. So there is no argument there. There's no question. Uh, hemp is not a narcotic and cannot be smoked and cannot be enjoyed other than uh, for many other purposes. So let's put that one aside and let's start with the questions to, to you guys. Uh, we got the same order. Why do you guys... Uh, are introducing hemp now in your collections. Why do you think it's important in denim? Uh, thank you, Stefano, uh, for clearing a lot of confusion around uh, hemp. So that's a very interesting question, you know, so why hemp now? So basically, uh, you know, to uh, make it short, uh, so everybody can understand, you know, we need an alternate solution to cotton right now, because, you know, the uh, water reserves are decreasing everywhere around the world and the cotton yield is not so great. And luckily some, uh, you know, uh, people have developed special uh, methods, you know, to cottonize hemp uh, a few years back. And that's why, you know, the hemp is back in uh, business. So hemp has uh, a very good yield uh, compared to cotton. It has all the features as cotton. Uh, the, the dyeing affinity is same. You know, uh, the hand fill is also same now after cottonizing the hemp and it has better yield. But on top, you know, it's a magical fiber. It has some additional features uh, built within the hemp fiber. You know, for textile industry, you know, it is naturally antimicrobial. Uh, you know, it, it is odorless. Uh, it, uh, then uh, apart from this, you know, it, it can protect you from ultraviolet rays. Uh, and, you know, it has better commercial sense, you know, if it gets industrialized properly and, you know, all the people are open up to hemp uh, industrial production throughout the world, then, you know, it, it, it makes better commercial sense as well. So that's why I believe, you know, the hemp is very important uh, for the future uh, of clothing industry, especially. Super. Thank you very much. Zishan? Uh, hemp is actually, it's not a new, I mean, a fiber or material to use in textile. As uh, you already explained about the through history about the interesting facts about the hemp uh, crop, uh, since uh, hemp was using in a different way and like a wet spun uh, uh, form in textile, which gives a very specific and a particular hand feel and uh, fabric appearance. Uh, in, uh, two three years back, uh, some inventor invent uh, the uh, hemp fiber and introduced as a cottonized hemp, means hemp has ability to mix up with the cotton and other fibers. That, mo that was a moment to hemp start um, uh, creating a hype in the denim industry. So uh, where we have a flexibility to uh, mix uh, hemp fiber with the other fibers as well. And that, that was the moment to uh, people were searching what kind of the material, organic or natural material, which can replace or which can decrease the cotton dependency. So hemp is the right solution, especially cottonized hemp was the right solution to introduce in a denim industry. Are you guys, can you see my screen? Thank you. So we can see uh, like a uh, hemp is pesticide free and uh, cotton is consuming like 25% pesticide over the world. It's a faster growth cycles. I mean, it's growth cycles like a four months for a cotton. We need to occupy the land. It's like eight to nine months, which is really long. It's, and if we see the uh, water consumption, we can see it's like more than 70% is water consumption. If we see the yield, so we can see the maximum of the cotton is starting up the hemp. So we can see 
these are the benefits which we are getting from uh, uh, cotonized hemp. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, if you don't mind, can you close your uh, your sharing? Can you stop your sharing? And uh, yeah. I'd like to move quickly to Johan. And maybe Johan, uh, uh, we've covered so far. We already talked about the the sustainable features we talked about the cottonization which brings it closer to to cotton in terms of uh, uh, hand feel and um, spinability but maybe you can uh, you can talk about the the aesthetics actually in Raymond there's working with hemp since quite long um, it's a like a, a tree plant uh, we we have 70,000 uh, uh, vegetable plants and we actually call our manager the plant manager. It's really plant manager. So it comes from the, the philosophy of um, green and we use the hemp since very long and for the aesthetics, because uh, since long we've made qualities for summer and winter. Initially it was more the idea for summer, but we have worked through different blends and different constructions to make it nice into winter qualities. So it can also look and have the feeling of a warm quality um and not just like sustainable quality uh, but really like a nice quality you can see the big brands like levi's and contour lee wrangler they are using hemp for winter and summer now as well because of the sustainable part but also because they see playing with the construction with the blends you can make beautiful qualities out of it which is like a bit more authentic it gives you really more rusty more rustic feeling and uh, really nice uh, qualities you can make out of it. Could not, I think that's Could not agree more. Thank you so much. What is different today? Well, what do we exactly mean by cottonized? Cottonized mean, <clears throat> uh, you know, hemp is basically bast fiber having a long uh, step length. It's like uh, sometimes it's 15 to 20 inch. Cottonized mean we have to uh, cut as cotton uh, hemp fiber. It's very close to the uh, cotton staple length. Once we cut the cotton uh, close to the cotton staple length, then means we can mix up with the cotton as well. And before go to a cottonized process, after, right after wetting, there is a wetting process where we have to prepare a long fiber. After wetting process, there is a cottonized process. And there are two different kind of uh, uh, cottonized process in, in, in the market at the moment. Uh, one a few of the um, uh, cotton uh, hemp supplier are saying our cotton uh, our hemp is like a mechanically cottonized and few of suppliers are uh, offering uh, chemically cottonized it's depend on a supplier to supply but definitely this is an organic product so we have to select all, uh, those uh, processed uh, fiber which is more sustainable more um, waterless so cottonized means that hemp is uh, like a cotton and has an ability to mix up with the cotton and tensile and other fibers as well. I would like to show you a few blends, but what we have done so far. In a beginning, once we uh, take off the hemp development, we started with a 25% hemp and 75% cotton. That time, that blend was really challenging to run in our spinning, and dyeing process and weaving process. But by the time, gradually we learn about and gradually we increase our content. Now we have uh, gone up to 40% hemp and rest of the portion is cotton or some other recycled materials as well. Thank you very much. Maybe Junaid can, uh, can answer a different question then because he, I think he covered it pretty well. What is the affinity of hemp with indigo dye? Being a cellulosic fiber, it should absorb uh, indigo pretty well. But do you still get the the ring dyeing when you when you dye in hemp? Right, that's that's another purpose of uh, benefit of cottonized hemp. You know that Dishan has explained in detail. You know, so we made it cottonized. You know, so it, it can have an a, a dyeing affinity similar to uh, cotton as well. It's uh, you know so far the product that we have tested, we have not seen any uh, variation, and it has the similar indigo effects as we have done uh, the same shade on other uh, cotton products. So, so far we have not seen any variation. There are, you know, different types of hemp fibers available like Zishan has mentioned. 
there's a cottonized mechanical hemp and there's a cottonized bleaching bleach hemp you know uh, some people have started with bleach hemp but that is not really a sustainable hemp product you know so that's why we have converted back towards mechanical hemp so the dyeing affinity is very similar to the cotton uh, you know uh, process so we have not seen much difference you know in our uh, uh, trials and you know the uh, the products that we have developed so far so finally one quick question for the whole panel and this is something that everybody in the industry is uh, is asking why does it cost so much and how can we make it make it cheaper because it's got so many fantastic features that uh, i'm looking forward to the day when we can actually use it in massive quantities and reduce our dependency on cotton so if you can quickly give me a, give me an answer and then we can right. wrap up okay so uh, i mean we, we all agree here you know that it's it's a it's a best uh, alternate fiber available versus cotton the only uh, point why it is so expensive because it's it in very early stage after you know it got got cottonized so right now only few of the brands are pushing levis is the main driver behind them but i think uh, you know on the technical side uh, because of its uh, feature you know i think it should be cheaper uh, commercially should be more viable because it takes less water it takes no pesticides or herbicides uh, you know and it is it has a better yield versus cotton you know you can grow more than two crops in a year you know if you have the right land available so i think uh, technically it should be cheaper but it's just a matter of time because of the demand and supply it's at very early stage so i think by the as the time passes it will eventually become either same price as cotton or maybe even more cheaper thank you Tijan. yeah uh, the way uh, the brands are pushing to include the hemp collection in their apparel lines so at the moment uh, we are definitely lacking the crop size because you know it's a matter of the supply and demand and uh, uh, different countries having their different rules and regulation i would first mention here in pakistan not two months back our government has approved cotton uh, growth in pakistan so they have done some legislation on it so hopefully if we will have a, a bigger crop size in the coming days then we can have maximum uh, content of uh, hemp in our garment industry wonderful quickly johan if you want to t- tell us why it's so expensive and uh, and then and we can other than the pure cost uh, i would like to um, highlight of course the marketing and economical side of uh, hemp which is seen as um, an elite fiber let's say uh, high end um, so actually from fiber until garment uh, the whole chain is adding a different margin than for a normal fabric so this way it it's kept at a higher price as well i think that that if everybody who is really concerned about sustainability is happy to uh, to reduce the margin uh, and therefore we can sell more uh, i think it would help everybody in the whole chain and and uh, and the planet absolutely and that that's a big big discussion big conversation that we can uh, that we could have some other time we if we are serious about uh, fixing the problems that we have we also need to be prepared to pay a little bit more for that uh, until it becomes a viable proposition for all this is all the time we had i'd like to thank you all very very much uh, shukra uh, thank you well thank you guys and uh Thank you for all the to all the listeners. Enjoy the rest of the show, and um, let's try to make hemp a, a really strong fiber in the future. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.